Hey guys, this is episode 29 of Thor. Welcome. We're on Breaker, we're on Apple Podcasts, we're on Spotify Podcast, and more, Anchor FM. So have a listen, share, sub, relax, and chill. This episode is really interesting because Apple have dropped the iPhone 12. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to see, you know, uh, what it's all about, talk about the tech, talk about the new design, and it's going to be a really good fun episode. So stay tuned for another great episode of the House of Rep. Hey guys, so this is episode 29 of Thor, so definitely check us out. Sub, like, and subscribe. Okay, we're talking about the Apple iPhone 12 in this episode, so I'm joined by ZZ. Say hi. Hey everyone, welcome to the House of Rep. Alright brother, tell me about this new iPhone 12 that they've made. Yeah, so we've just seen an announcement uh, through Apple, through their own little uh, conference obviously online and digital because of the current situation and they've really uh, revealed sorry a new iPhone model and guess what it's called the iPhone 12 who would have known mm-hmm. and um, they've gone with a very uh, let's just say interesting design with this model um, it's very flat edged uh, very metallic in its design very curved slightly thicker than I thought I would expect the iPhone 12 to be right bro you know it's very interesting the side the sides of the iPhone the new one look like the last generation of iPod yeah you know what I mean or iPhone like an yeah. older iPhone like older iPhones that yeah. were so I don't know what they're trying to say Apple or what they're trying to do I don't I think they're not trying to alienate their customer base because a lot of customers who buy iPhones naturally want to upgrade to the newest iPhone once the newer model comes out. So obviously you'll get your Apple fanboys and all your uh, fanatics or Apple lovers, is what I would call them, who um, have been in the ecosystem of Apple and the iPhone ecosystem and they love to adopt whatever newest technology comes out from the company. Um, One of the reasons why the Apple iPhone was so successful was is like they kind of set the trend of what that kind of tablet smartphone would be like. So um, you know, like that that smartphone kind of like whole explosion started with the iPhone. The iPhone was a catalyst for that yes. trendset, which is why so Apple one blew of up the, first the way they phones. did, and they're like this uh, one of the big three tech companies. Uh, the 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 thing is though is is that they're always trying to please their investors and they're always so so what they're doing is it's a delicate balancing act under tim after steve passed away where um he can only like he can only push so much innovation without alienating his investors and core audience and then if they go too far with something then they could basically you know they, they might just like basically they might just go too far with a design so you've seen how the very first folding note from Samsung was like w- was really ha- mired with like technical issues kind of like how their note had uh, that exploding battery because it just made it too thin mm. so the battery would overheat this thing had a film on it and then that mm. film would tear off and then damage the screen so um, Samsung try to take risks um, and other people try to innovate so you've got like Huawei OnePlus you've got like you know um, you know the, these these like Oppo, great Oppo, you Oppo got, and Xiaomi, uh, Zha- Xiaomi and doing good too Samsung you know like, like basically the Chinese brands are coming up because Google, they're offering Google Pixel a lot the Google Pixel I wouldn't even go near to be honest that that one has a really good camera system mm. but other than that like software is an exciting the system is an exciting I remember looking at those phones and saying these are boring like these are not the uh, Google having their own phone is a good idea because it adds competition but the phones have never really made me pause it's the same you know like 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 Sony have these amazing phones 
Like they make like these 2.19 small kind of like 120 hertz B screen mm -hmm. kind of, you know, like they're really good in the hand when you feel them. They're very high quality with their Bravia OLED kind of screen technology built in and their Bion Z processors, which are based on their camera systems on those amazing A7s. And we'll be doing reviews on A7s and A9s further down because, you know, like photography is a big deal for us. But, um, you know, like when it comes to like uh, cameras in the last few years, modules have gotten better for cameras. Um, there's more cooperation between brands. So then you're getting ammo OLEDs and screens from Samsung going into Apple phones and other kind of manufacturers that do deals, you know, and there's some kind of a play nice kind of situation going on where rivals are no longer kind of bickering with each other. They're kind of working together to mutually survive because what's happening with this kind of like turnaround with like everything, the pandemic, people's spends are going to be less. People, the people's biggest debate in kind of phone and tech right now is that like, are we even interested in paying more than a grand for like a, a phone? Yeah, you know? because we've got like, we've got with this new iPhone, we have four models essentially in this range of this new model. So you have, first of all, the iPhone 12. Then mm. you have the iPhone 12 mini, which is a smaller five inch version. Mm. Then we have two higher end models, which are called the Pro and the Pro Max. So the mm. iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Mm. Now, Apple are being quite sneaky because they used to have a lot of models, almost like up to seven, six to seven separate models in their iPhone range. Mm. And now they've kind of condensed it to this four in the newest uh, generation of iPhone. Yeah, because they kept the seven around. They had the SE, which yeah, is now, the see SE. the 12 looks like the SE. Yes. Because the SE was like the basic original kind of iPhone. Smallest. So the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 mini, go back to that metallic design with the aerials, uh, sorry, the antennas on the side in the aluminium body for better reception. Uh, they're going for those retina displays that they're well known for with their higher kind of like contrast ratio and other things like that. The, um, oh, and Ray, don't forget 5G. Oh yeah. So <laughs> Tim man, was at a hilarious <laughs> moment. It just makes me laugh. Just all do the the time. 5G. He's standing around in the auditorium in a black shirt in a kind of blacked out auditorium. So all you can see totally is, empty. is like, uh, you know, uh, silver hair and he's sweeping across the air, you know, like his hand <laughs> in a majestic way going, we are now rolling out 5G across all our models, you know? And I was like, Tim, you make me laugh, man. Yeah. You're just sweeping that stuff. I Ow, know, isn't it? Like and a, it's it's it was it's funny. It's so funny to see that <laughs> Apple are boasting about five G, yet manufacturers like Samsung and Huawei have been on the five G bandwagon for a good year now. Yeah. So I think it's a bit 5G, late. 5G. I think I think Apple have a bit late to the game and just boasting that they've got the new five G technology. Either they were waiting a long time for the. 5G antennas and receptors to get better, mm. or they want like right, like Ray saying they they wanted to put their infrastructure in See, place. I don't know if this is because of the trade war that was going on. There was a lot of back and forth, and the, you know I remember uh, the Trump administration and stuff were like, you know, we don't want Huawei in there. We don't want yeah, the Chinese yeah, in there. Yeah, that's right. Because they were worried about like spying and their, you know, like. I don't know Secrets. what I don't really go too much into the politics of it, no. but I think they wanted a certain level of control. Um, or they wanted to keep it in house, like America. Yeah, I'm not really too sure. I don't really care to be honest. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, all all I wanna I wanna know is is that is this a good phone? And uh, most of the time, I'm not impressed by iPhones when they come out. Yeah. I think there are there are a lot. They they they're the phones for the people who like to kind of like. I'm more of a power user, so I just I naturally lean towards Android. Cause there's just so much more that I can do and I've always had had it, you know, so then naturally really being used to that uh, naturally I've, I've, I've always used Samsung phones, you know, occasionally I have one or two different kinds of phones. I, I do like what OnePlus are doing. I do mm. like the camera systems that, that Huawei did, you know, Huawei are a great company. Um, what I, what I didn't like is how Huawei have to remove they had that kind of dispute about their operating system. So yeah. they removed Google. So they had to build their whole, their own kind of infrastructure and their own OS. And that uh, kind of... Harmony OS? Yeah. So they had to basically create their OS and it created a real kind of mess with people getting worried, you know, like, um, you know, is my Huawei uh, phone okay? Am I going to be able to do stuff? 
you know, things like that. So, I mean, their mate is a is a beast of a rig. The mate mm. X is a beast. Mm. Uh, last year's mate was wicked. This year's mate is wicked. The P forty Pro is amazing. Yeah, that's a lovely phone. Uh, the P thirty was amazing. The Leica, the Leica technology, lenses. the lenses, they're fast. The zoom is great. You know, like the crop factor is good. Uh, from a photography point of view, it's a really good super backup you could have as a photographer. You could keep it on the, your belt, like behind you, or you know, like uh, you know, keep it on you in case something happened to your primary and secondary or something. You could keep it, you know, snap away. Um, but even even though they've lost the Android, it gives them more scope to be more individual now. Yeah, but there's always this kind of I don't know why, but they just keep saying that there's a lot of spyware, there's a lot of spying, there's a lot of analytic mm. and hidden cookies, and you know, like lots of different kind of things. But then that's with everything, you know. The thing yeah, is, is that the thing I well. found kind of a bit strange about that wall is that the NSA were bugging everybody, and that's common knowledge. You know, like they were, they were, um, hey, Siri. They, they were tapping <laughs> everybody. You get what I mean? And I remember there was a huge scandal about it. And then it kind of went away. Like, you know, in the digital age, it just kind of comes and goes. We get these peaks and kind of like uproar, but we don't really do anything about it. Mm. It's the same thing with that, um, you know, that Panama paper stuff. Yeah. You know, like when, when they said that these people are like having all this tax haven, these super rich, they're not paying shit, there's lots of corruption and stuff. Do something about it. Mm. You know what I mean? It takes a long time to do stuff about it in the kind of normal kind of like greasy wheels of uh of justice when the system is like could be better mm. so what do you think like going back to the iphone 12 what do you think of its design i think it's a step backwards a bit you know it feels retro like so so i'm talking just about the mini and the the thing right now so the mini and, and the, the actual normal 12. normal 12 look very similar to iphone xr um the iphone se so they're keeping with that design language. The teardrop notch is not on there, so they're not going for the teardrop style notch. It's more of a traditional notch. So it's the chin, you know, that me and Z like to call it. So um, I'm not a fan of the chin. I think the chin looks horrible. Yeah, but the chin's been around and for decades. It's very it? dated looking. I think you're losing a lot of space up there in the chin, in the chin aesthetic of the phone. Um, because obviously you've got all these new fancy new colors mm. and colors always go through a, a awful cycle when the new green generation, really of, weird. New generation yeah. of phone pops up that kind of coral but, green um, it's kind of flat edge kind of what I'd call the slightly uh, rounded off uh, rectangle look yeah. is what the new iPhone has and the chin just a lot of a lot of other manufacturers like Samsung and Xiaomi Mm. and how we don't have chins at all mm. now they're just like either a punch hole or a very small dot like the note 20 has punch a small dot cool. the punch hole looks a lot nicer when you've got it around the screen's mm. image and the whole screen than um any kind of i mean you've got more room for a screen because you're rocking a uh what's this one your one this is a s10 so you're rocking the s10 right now yeah and you've got the kind of like modular notch the and I'm rocking the old Note 9, which is still my fucking pride and joy. I just, you know, use this all the time. Yeah. I'm a, I am love my Notes, but the basic, you know, my Note has a strip. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, so, so, so I know, I know that that's the screen limitation. Why do I have on the, why on the iPhone do I have like this chin? And then I have to look over here on the left and over there on the right for the um, signal it, and uh, carrier. Fine. Exactly. You know, yeah. like I find that very strange. Some phones have that and... and I, I think, think it's, it's just maybe it, yeah, a design even the flaw. One of the Google it. ones had it. Yeah, maybe uh, one of one or two Pixel phones had yeah. that too. So, so strange. Yeah, so the design is okay. I mean, I wouldn't give it that much props, even though Apple like to boast a lot in their own events about how amazing it looks. Two times more and pixels it's than got the iPhone. All 11. these like lovely pixels, but I mean, come on. Honestly, if you're only achieving 460 PPI now. Tech, from a technical point of view, we're talking about technicalities here. I mean, pixels. Samsung were achieving like more than 500 pixels in their phones mm -hmm. a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, like on the Note, the Note 10, which yeah. is like almost a year old now. We have yeah. the Note 20 now. But the, I, this the iPhone S, 12, S10 this is the S20. base one, right? This is the base one, right? So it's meant to be a bit yeah. lower, right? I don't know. Yeah. I'm just asking well, you what you I think. mean, it, it, dep it depends on what model you buy. Yeah. 
But obviously, yeah, they they cap the specs depending on yeah, things. Cause it's, what, but the what, funny what's thing the retail is, on this one? Six nine nine. I think this is six. We'll get we'll get to that in a minute yeah. on the pricing. Mm. But what's also interesting is that when you buy the iPhone 12 Mini, mm. I don't think there's any compromise in spec. <laughs> Excuse me. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Like you know at so, least. Like, you know, so that's kind of good. So even if you can just size. afford like a mini version of the iPhone 12, you'll still get pretty decent specs in your phone. I mean, I prefer phones to be, um, some people, no, I, pr I like my kind of like phablet style phone. Uh, a lot of people love, um, it's difficult to get two phones though in your pocket if you're rocking two, you know, like, uh, yeah. But for for people, they might want a handbag kind of phone, you know, like to put it in their, that's in their true, handbag yeah. or their bag. So, especially if you're riding a motorcycle, I think the Mini would come in handy. Yes. Yeah. You know, because you can put it into your riding jacket or put it on the cradle yeah, on a motorcycle and it'll be a lot more easier to use. So that's kind of like the benefits of having like these Mini phones. They're just space saving. Yeah. Also, I find it funny how they, they come up with these buzzwords like ceramic shield. Oh yeah, like and to um, with gorilla we, glass, ceramic shield. We, we all, Activate the stream, ceramic shield. Yeah, it's shield. like you have to turn it on to make sure it's working. It's so funny that Apple come up with these buzzwords like deep fusion and machine deep learning, deep fusion and ceramic shield, and it's like, come on, Apple. Yeah. I mean, what well, pipe? <laughs> what pipe are you smoking to make us buy these products? Their, really? their headquarters looks massive. Man. I know it's huge. It's like a spaceship. It's ridiculous. It's like a freaking spaceship. Yeah. A but fourteen by I, I mean, system. it's it's funny that they talk about their new lovely nano chip and their nanometer process and their technology and all that. But what I find really funny is I'm pretty mm. sure all your semiconductors are made by Samsung, Apple. Yeah. Or like the little transistors. I'm okay. not sure how much of these chips, like the A14 chip, is made in house by yeah. Apple. Mm. Um, because naturally, all the small, little, teeny, weeny bits inside this chip yeah. are made by someone else. And they're just like... Uh, What's the neural engine for? For people who just want to know what it does. I think the neural engine is just doing computations and stuff like that. Okay. I don't want to really go into a deep technical thing. But, uh -huh. I mean, we can talk a little bit about the camera. The Tell me about this new dual camera system. So there's two on the... Uh, mini the standard and the models. standard one. So the ones are ultra wide, 12 yeah. megapixel with a 2.4 aperture. Yeah, that's so that's good. quite fast. Then you got a 12 megapixel wide with 1.6 aperture. So that's a seven element lens. Mm, so basically, good. the diopters are built in um, to save on like the quick focusing. Uh, they're trying to say that it's going to be a lot faster and brighter. The emphasis on this generation is about night photography. Mm. So they know that people are going to go out. But then what's really funny is they're releasing this phone during a pandemic where no one can really go out. <laughs> so I'm just, and like, you know, the spend uh, people spend will be a, pre, a, a bit less. So I'm just yeah. wondering uh, what they were thinking. Like, well, you that's know. the funny thing is because like the iPhone, the standard iPhones have two cameras. Yeah. And then if you buy the more expensive models, which yeah. cost like, twelve hundred dollars or one thousand dollars or whatever the equivalent is yeah. in euros and pounds mm -hmm. over here because we're in the uk yeah. and apple is an american product yeah. um you're definitely spending more than a thousand on, okay. on a product like this for three I, cameras I, honestly, on the back I, of your I'm phone i'm just gonna put my foot down now and say that no matter how much money I ever get, yeah. I'm never spending like more than like a couple of hundred on the phone, yeah. man. Spending a thousand really pounds. Worth it. Okay, first I get it. They're like mini computers, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love the innovation. I mean, the fact that we're in the kind of tricorder Star Trek kind of era where we've literally got like a tricorder in our hands. Yeah, that's you know? cool. I hope in the future that we can actually scan our bodies and actually find out what's wrong with us and stuff and send it to the NHS so we can speed the process up if we're sick or something. But um, basically being able to use apps, to use, you know, like stuff to like do your shopping, do your stuff, it makes everything a lot convenient. You know, having a like um, record player in your in your pocket, a camera in your pocket, a video player in your well, pocket. We, we, this is remember, unheard do, of. Do you remember we saw that picture on Reddit about yeah. like... Uh, all the devices that are exactly. condensed down into yeah. one Yeah, and that's of... innovation. That's what's wicked about <laughs> phones in general. But what I do is my kind of rule of thumb, you know, and, and I don't know if a lot of people follow this yet because I do, is I wait for the kind of, what do they call that? The, the depreciation curve yeah. 
to get to its peak. So what will happen is is that I rocked a Note 2 until it basically just broke and the screen stopped working. Then by that time, the Note 4 <laughs> Edge and Note 4 were out. So I got myself an Edge um, and then um, got my dad in 4 and he loved the 4. Then his 4 developed a glitch, so I basically had to kind of fix it. And then he switched over to Huawei, so he's kind of liking his Huawei, but I think he might go back to a phablet because he likes that. Um, I kept rocking my edge until, again, the screen just conked out, yeah. you know, just from wear and tear. I did drop it a few times as mm. well. Um, and plus the Android was a bit choppy at yeah, that point. Yeah, so, so, so that was like that. And then now I'm rocking the 8. So I try to jump every two generations up. Yeah. That's kind of like the pan. And Z was kind of following the same the kind of pan. Times two jump. Yeah, you were jumping like you had... Um, Three. Uh, S3. S3. Then you jumped to a S5. Five. Because the 4 wasn't exciting. And then I multiplied uh, that. <laughs> then you then you jumped big time. You kept... He, he kept... This guy kept phone for like years. Yeah, like S5. six, seven years. He was running it. And then basically it fell screen we got the screen repaired we freaking like it just couldn't take it anymore yeah. i remember when i had the golf bumps on the back you know they're kind of <laughs> you know, like, like you know the thing we used Road to talk about it, the the back of the case had that kind of golf bump kind of finish um and then my one had that kind of fake leather where yeah. it kind of felt like leather but it wasn't like it was plastic fake PVC yeah leather. um and now you know like the back of my note ace cracked a little because it's a glass kind of finish because yeah, it, it took yeah, a bit yeah, of a yeah. tumble it fell off my bike so um uh, i mean how are, how are people going to protect this iphone because well, it's these metal, they're gonna get scratched up they're going to have to get like really protective cases for this one yeah i used to help a lot of people with the iphones when they had like problems logging into their apple accounts and stuff yeah, apple the, ID the user interface of apples have always been very simple with yeah, the double taps and the, the swipes away and you know like so that was always good the ui was very innovative but it was also limiting so you couldn't delve too deep into but also a lot of they, don't, they don't have the home button they've, they've ditched the home button a long yeah, you, time ago you now you now you have to flick just swipe it. up so, and down yeah up and it's down. a double gesture or double now. gesture yeah, yeah. yeah so so that's interesting um the fingerprint reader the, the is it does it have an ultrasonic uh fingerprint reader this uh one? less less yeah i think so yeah i think it has because the software is there for it but it's eye unlocking because they love yeah, that they, face. they love they the face yeah they have a, a yeah. lidar scanner in this new one so what's, let's just talk what's about MagSafe. What the is MagSafe is hilarious. MagSafe. So, I thought it was some kind of cloud money thing. So what's so funny like, is that they they ditched MagSafe on their MacBooks, and okay. now they've focused all their effort into making MagSafe for the new iPhone. Okay. And what's really funny about it is they've talked about in their Apple event about all this lovely nanotech and mm. nanocrystals and magnometers yeah, yeah. and NFC and all this hoo -ha nano, and, nano and crystalline shield. Copper graphite and all this BS that they love to talk about Apple. And then they go and make a freaking doctor's stethoscope kind of adapter. Okay. And yeah, yeah. it's like an adapter that attaches to the back of the phone. So it, it actually attaches not to the bottom of the phone like a normal iphone user's cable mm. but to the back of the actual iphone base so it's like a qi charger and um, so this so this is now wireless charging so it can cover all kinds of spectrums of wireless charging yes but then they're trying to claim that their new one which they finally built because i remember that's right two or three years ago they announced it but then they kept having problems developing it so they kind of mothballed it until i guess they got to this point where they're happy with the magnetic uh, charger and you know like whatever Power, these yeah. things are but I don't think it's gonna be particularly fast because uh, the problem with NFC charges said it was 15 that, watts what was I think it? it's like 15 watts fast charging yeah. so that's okay but isn't like it's not a, bad a lot of the kind of Samsung's and and you know like the one plus they're faster right they're faster like yeah 17 Samsung and crazy, one plus right? have got it down to a T they have amazing like I think 45 watt or 65 watt I, I'm crazy, not entirely man. sure yeah. But their charges are so fast, you but can we'll literally get it. like up to 90 to 100% in like half an hour. That's sick. Which is amazing. So their technology is much, much better than Apple. And Apple are very late to the game, even with this fancy new MagSafe charger. Mm. It doesn't really help the game. And what I find quite funny is that this is the stupidest thing I found that they've done with the iPhone 12. Is that they, they've, they've said that they will make this new MagSafe charger mm. but they don't give you a charger 
They just sell you the bloody phone. So, so no longer do you get essentially, the charger, you get right? the phone, yeah. and, and you get you this get either, right? you get this silly cable. So you get no pods. So, either, so right? you get a cable, which is a USB to Lightning cable. Okay. Um, with the iPhone 12. Yeah. But you don't get this charger, so no charger comes in the box, and apparently that was due to some silly environmental reason for like. Um, yeah, they're saying environmental that, uh, costs or some. They rubbish. don't want. They're, they're saying that they're trying to reduce the plastic and electronic waste. So yeah, but that's they're, they're that's kind that of you funny. You already have a plug. Well, so that's 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 so that's, you keep your old one. That's what I find really stupid. Is that so? That's a good any, thing and the bad. Anybody thing. who has the old cable, they won't work with this new phone mm. because it won't have the port that works with the new phone. You're gonna need to buy another cable and another box and recycle that box. Wait a second. This doesn't have. A normal Thunderbolt charger? I don't think it. I think it um, probably has something at the bottom, but I'm not sure if it does. Okay, if it if it doesn't but have a Thunderbolt have charger, that'd be weird. You, they're gonna charge you another twenty bucks for an extra cable that you don't. You should have had. But somebody might already have it. That's what no, but this is say, what's right? funny. Like you this buy you buy a high end Samsung phone. They give you a cable, yeah. they give you a SIM adapter, they give you headphones for free. The AKGs, uh, yeah. Lovely AKG headphones or whatever is packaged with the phone. Because they absorb the AKG. And then they yeah. give you some other little bits and bobs. Yeah. Whereas Apple are incredibly tight and they don't want to give you anything. Mm. It's just like ridiculous. Who does Samsung own now? Do they also own Harman Kardon or JBL? Who do they... They keep buying up companies. Yeah, you know, right? I'm not sure who, but... Yeah. I don't understand what these Apple employ employees do because they're just like really smoking the freaking Apple pipe. Because mm. <laughs> they they tout, I, I mean the you know they're licking those uh, jazzy apples. Yeah, they're licking those <laughs> jazzy apples, as Ray says. But um, it's always a it's always a, a hard sell. Now you can talk about the pricing, bro. Like all right, so. 699 yeah that's what the mini is so so the mini starts from 699 dollars in america already i feel like the mini is gonna be like you know like the, a the phone big that seller sell a lot yeah because it's just the same thing but for smaller and people want to save on space you know like they want like to put it in their little tight jeans and stuff and, <laughs> and stuff and there you go wait yeah but i think i think they'll always try to pedal the max and the pro the Max is the one that people are going to wait in line for. Like, yeah. I just think waiting in line is so stupid. Yeah. And and the other thing with iPhones is, which I find hilarious when Apple like to tout their Did we talk their about like, their stuff? Like, you know, they, when they used to wait out li uh, line. So we used well, to we'll go... Talk, yeah, we'll say that in a minute. We used to like... Uh, um, yeah. It's, it's funny how Apple like to say that professional photographers and professional filmmakers would love to use the iPhone as filming and photography devices. Mm. But to be perfectly frank, they're not going to be as good as something that a professional photographer or filmmaker would use with their proprietary camera. Mm -hmm. I don't they think don't the software filters, right? and it's the stuff. hardware alone no are long, good enough right? to be able to achieve the cinema quality results that you would get. From other mm. cameras so they were talking about i mean Apple do you remember Pro the red hydrogen what a kind of lovely success that was oh yeah i completely <laughs> forgot red made a phone that was a hilarious yeah. phone what ever happened to that phone i don't know but we should talk about that so phone they made the red phone. hydrogen and then the red, asus made red a phone. hydrogen one or something asus called? have a phone and raza have a phone yes but they've kind of like gone all over the place yeah but wobbly, they wobbly razor's phone was meant for gaming so if you love tabletop that uh, was a good phone though strategy rock, and mobile games i like the look of that one i thought that, that was, was going to be phone. wicked then asus made one so the razor is called the blade no it's not called the blade it's, it's called just called the like razor phone razor phone yeah the blade is their laptop yeah the blades are like razor yeah. stuff um so basically uh mm. like or razor if you want razor like my yeah like my um my handle on youtube is like razor but um <clears> one of my first youtube channels uh, is Rep Razor. So basically you can find me that way as well if you want. It's like got some of our house or, um, Rep videos on it. But going back to basically Rep, um, not Rep, uh, Razor's phones, uh, they, they tried, you know, they yeah, were one they of the tried. first ones to have those high resolution screens, isn't it? So well, we've had lots of phones from Razor and Hydrogen, uh, not Hydrogen, Hydrogen, <laughs> <laughs> hydrogen is the hydrogen new brand. Is the new brand. Yeah. 
I mean, there was like this. What, this what, what, what I'll about, tell you another what, one. There was this Pablo Escobar phone as well. Oh, that was I remember horrible. reading about that. Like, yeah, his, I his, saw his, a Marquez, his nephew or something. A Marquez video about that. Yeah. And he was exposing how stupid those it, phones were. It's another were. Chinese phone that he rebranded, right? Yeah, he just put like a wrap on it or a sticker okay. or something and then started to charge like. Just reminds me of the fire. A thousand or four thousand dollars for it and it was horrible. Do you remember that documentary about Ja Rule and the fire festival? That oh, guy, that's classic. Where they, they Everybody's seen that. That was funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> but tell tell me about that thing you saw about you know like the first iPhone or one of the oh early yeah iPhones. yeah I just remember like uh, this brought back memories of like me looking at all the people who the fanboys waiting outside and I'm like dude I ain't gonna camp outside it's like those guys who camped outside for Star Wars mm. and that dude who who does that little mini leap in the air yeah. he's like yeah. I'm gonna see it and he's like begging the floor and then they run inside and then obviously they saw Jake Lloyd and the you know and Jar Jar Binks and, and got disappointed that, you know the episode one script I don't think it was what they were expecting it to be and I'm sure after they you know kind of salt story for another part isn't it because I can go into detail about episode one but you know what's very really funny is like the prequels look like gold now compared to the sequels oh dear <laughs> And There's if you haven't, go listen to our podcasts about the sequel trilogy. They're yeah, great. Because Disney really dropped the ball a bit. I but yeah, go on. Tell us about this so, iPhone story. Talking about iPhone, right? I remember seeing this video. It's one of my funniest the videos I've seen like, on the internet for a time. This lady, she's like uh, quite well off or affluent, I, I believe. And she buys the first spot in the line she didn't want to wait in line so she pays mm. the guy mm. uh money mm. like you know like to, to to say hey could you just go to the back like not the back of the queue but basically <laughs> go to the front one, of the queue. one behind me yeah. i want to be the first one so i'm gonna pay you so she gives him money and he doesn't mind being the he second guy care. he doesn't yeah. care this dude, so you know what it. you know what he did he basically kept her money so she <laughs> goes in right she gives him money but she's got like four like she, she's got like maybe four grand like or you know like she's got a stack of bills basically so she comes in strolling in and she's like um i want to buy some iphones you know i'm gonna sell them and make a profit and stuff and then and then uh, they're like you know it's, we've only limited it to one customer and she's like is it for only one customer are you sure you know that kind of head bob you do to kind of reconfirm so basically she's like are you sure and they're like yeah so she buys one and she's like Got right it. so she can only get one iphone yeah and that's one what's, that's what's Just really hilarious one. so after she one goes, per customer please our, our guy this g strolls in right <laughs> yeah okay this kid right and and he goes, I'll just take my iPhone, please. And he uses her money. <laughs> so he didn't use his money. So he basically, like, uh, uh, he just had the best day ever. So he literally yeah. got a free phone. Yeah, exactly. And it yeah. didn't cost him anything. And then I remember this other video where there was another iPhone that came out. And they had, like, the first guy open it. Yes. But he opens the box upside down or something. Well, no, no. He opens the box upward. And the phone is kind of being vacuumed into that, the that's into what the I air always the hated lid. about it. You know, like the lid of yeah. a box, yeah, 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 a smartphone box. So, yeah. like you've got the box, the cardboard, and then you kind of lift the top, the top bit. Yeah. But the phone was stuck, like kind of getting pulled up into yeah. the lid. And so he drops it, and it smashes <laughs> on the ground, man. Everyone's like, "Oh man!" Oh, yeah. he smashed his iPhone. He must have dinged must it have a bit, gutted. man. And those were a lot back then. Yeah, they were so expensive. And then this is the thing with the new iPhone 12 is that it's an expensive device. Don't get me wrong. Like um, they're charging a lot for what they say are very pro specs. I mean, they have a pro display, which is probably made by Samsung anyway. Mm. It's um, their OLED probably, it's right? It's their OLED yeah. technology. They say it's a new XDR or HDR mm. or whatever hoo-ha they love to say. Because both Samsung and LG do OLEDs but Samsung for some odd reason won't make OLEDs in TVs and then some people like to say well that's because of screen burn and you know uh, they're not confident in the OLED technology <laughs> but it's not that you know you you dumbos it's no, just no, that no, they, they love QLED you know QLED they want brightness yeah, you know so yeah. for them it's all about peak brightness and color volume so and what they yeah, do is crank the color wrong. up OLED brightness looks amazing when you look OLED at OLED give you the deepest blacks man it's like amazing the looking. Bravia OLEDs the Sony phones they look gorgeous man yeah, if you hold yeah. them in your hand they are in underrated to phones this, this is like nothing oh man like you know I tell you I'm so surprised yeah like you know Sony don't push their phones more because they make some quality handsets 
Um, and then, you know, obviously Samsung do some good uh, screens, like the, the OLEDs have never really... I mean, I have experienced screen burn, you know, on my Note 4. It was very strange. I, I, I developed this kind of weird mark at the end, and I think that that was just because of, like, the phone being kind of, like, Basically, it was a workhorse. Mm. So, and that's an older generation of OLEDs. But the color depth is much but better. But then, then going on to that, what you're saying yeah. it's interesting that uh, Apple have announced that they're trying to push Dolby Vision HDR in their new iPhone. Dolby Vision is good tech, and it's, know, it's, it's really, really nice good. that they've added that. But I yeah. wonder how demanding that will be on the iPhone itself. Well, because, iPhones like, have never been good with they, battery. They will like run out of battery really quickly yeah. if you're using that kind of mode, and it will overheat as well. So that's something to factor in. I think that's when you're why they went purchasing with an iPhone construction to yeah, try and, to try and keep uh, it cool. What is the heat sink like though? It must be so small. Uh, it's small, yeah, because yeah. it's a very small shape. It's not massive. I mean, you can look at the footage and stuff in the 4K resolution. And what it's doing. So they got a lidar sensor. Yeah, they have a, a kind of small lidar sensor on the back near the camera okay. uh, apparatus. And, and this stuff. is also that they can emphasize low light photography. Low light right? photography, face yeah. scanning, and all that yeah. kind of stuff, and do right. augmented stuff. <laughs> I think iPhones are very uh, adamant about augmented reality. They oh, like so to push, an AR experience. They like it? to push yeah. their AR experiences on the iPhone. Yeah. But yeah, overall, what do you think, bro? Out of like this kind of summary i think it's uh it's like business as usual for them <laughs> i think i think it will it will sell yeah but i still think because of the economic downturn you know and the way in which the market's looking right now it won't it won't be the kind of like the, it might but it might not be the massive explosion they they want it to be yeah because you know like i remember people like test you know like not testing people surveying people and saying that people are just not longer interested in having whatever the flagship is now mm, there's a kind of stagnation yeah, in tech stagnation, if it's yeah. not a piece of gloss like what tony stark's holding yeah where it's completely transparent and maybe the the the, the chin processor the chip bottom. yeah the, the bottom the chin base. is where all the modules are because it is possible yeah. you know uh, lg have proved it they have a rollable oled Huawei have flexible OLEDs, um, so do LG. They have foldable, foldable phones. The Z Flip and the and the, the wing, thing. The wing. This is the kind of the this is the kind of design language we should be going in, where it's a phone phablet, or you can change the configuration to how you feel see fit. I would love a phone where it's just a piece of gloss I'm holding, the bottom bit's the thickest part, you know, like it's just a slate, and I'm able to basically gesture and move things and then throw things immediately mm. to a TV, That'd which is sweet. also equally as thin. So if I could have like, you know, I'm looking at probably in the next 10 years, this will become the norm. These super thin micro LEDs or, you know, like something Project, where they- Projector LED or something. Sort of, yeah. I think, I don't know what it will be, but it will be a piece of glass, like a prism. It will be some kind of like a polymer based kind of glass mix or something. And that will be wicked because that will be what will be on our in our cars, will be in the trains, you know. Like, um, well, I want that. I want yeah, that kind of Star Trek cool. kind of future where I'm like, I've got these little, I've got the slate in my hand, and when that happens, then I'll probably get a new phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want that joking. one. Yeah. I'll take that one. I'll buy that for a and dollar. I'll buy that for a dollar. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. so Apple's is business as usual. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. for us, like you know, um, as Android users, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna stand up in here and say, uh, "Yeah, forget these guys." You know, they ain't doing anything uh, good. Uh, the OS has always been really simple. I've always liked the interface with Apple iPhones. Generally, they try to make them sort of like Better hefty than build quality. They try to make them a little bit more premium feeling. They don't allow you to put like cards in and they want you to rely on the cloud. But a lot of people have problems sometimes when they make their passwords and forget them. The logging in process, the process to unlock your card, uh, not your card, your cloud, the cloud leaks to happen. You know, like a lot of celebrities had like naughty photos and then the whole people, bunch of people got them. So privacy concerns with like cloud storage. 
Um, I really only use cloud storage for some critical things, like you know, some mem uh, uh, memorable photos. I mean, you know, and things like that, mm. like of trips and things. I keep it as a second backup, but I still like hard media, and that's really where I kind of swing towards a Android phone because they still kind of support that, you know, like um, and keep that unibody design. So uh, everyone's got their own kind of way that they're using it. So. Just keep, we just, I like innovation, so that they need to keep going. They need I to think, keep going. yeah, I think in my personal opinion, they need to slightly maybe push on the design in the next iPhone. I think this iPhone has kind of fallen flat in its design, and I think it's more serving a purpose for being more ergonomic and not deviating from the fan base and the customer base that are really popular with iPhones and why they love the iPhone in the first place. Um, but I just still feel it's it's trying to be a powerhouse, but it's not really a powerhouse like the phablet phones that we see. It's a, a 6.7 inch iPhone 12 is still a big phone, but it's nowhere near the size or power of a uh, equivalent phablet phone. And there are plenty of those. I mean, it's a very oversaturated market now and iPhone and Apple are trying to get their own little niche again, but it's going to be very tough in this market in this day and age. And like me and Ray were saying before, in this current situation, do you really want to fork out a grand for a new mobile phone? I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. So that was that's my two cents on the iPhone, bro. Yeah, I mean, the world's like so big. There's always going to be people who are going to love it. People who are going to hate it. Um, I... I think that it's pretty much just like business as usual for them. So it hasn't really super excited me, you know, in, in any kind of way. It, it just seems like almost the same as the iPhone 11, really. It's not much difference between them. Yeah, so um, so that's really the kind of like the Apple tech roundup for uh, the Apple iPhone 12. And I want to thank Z for joining me on this pod. And uh, Z, just, you know, like... Uh, let people know what you think like you know what did you what do you think generally about all of this like apple you know are they innovating are they yeah i think they're doing all right i think they need to push the envelope a bit more and stop touting their own juju juice hmm. of whatever they think they're smoking one of my disappointments with them is that they have like trillions like in the bank and they're not making anything like what i've just said before hmm. like glass screens um you know like really with i mean like the iphone I, I watch i wish it could just go like some tony stark thing yeah you know or, or something you know like um i don't know man we need more kind of tony stark kind of tech now you know modular looking stuff it'd be so cool if i could take a module out of the the phone put it on my hand you know or pull a drone out throw the drone in the air the mon the camera module is a drone yeah. so basically you throw it in the air and then it follows you so when you want to vlog i mean the things i can do with house of rep I think would be it, wicked it's then. just there's not enough funky creativity why doesn't Apple? anyone make a stagnant. phone that turns into a drone yeah that, that would, would be cool. amazing yeah. so i just throw my phone up yeah. and then it follows me yeah so i'm like you know sentry mode yeah you know sweet. i just say sentry mode mm. to it and it follows me mm. i wish i could make that stuff if my if i could launch you know a company in the future those are the kind of innovations i do i'd make like a swiss army knife for phones but yeah i mean that pretty much wraps up this house wrap on thank you guys for listening and as always subscribe share and like uh thor you know uh, movie reviews gaming reviews tech reviews and more it's all here at the house of rep we'll see you on the next one